let's have a small story it's a story true story it's based on self belief this person has inspired me a lot i never seen him but his book had changed or whatever i read about him changed me a lot he was a director at tata sons mr nani palki wala the only person in our country other than the politician other than the bollywood celebrity who could gather crowd at brebon cricket stadium for listening to budget speech or his analysis of budget he was a lawyer hired by tata sons and i think in the history of the entire tata group he will be the only person at the senior level who was allowed to carry on his own profession also in addition to job at tatas is like a job at tata sons but he was allowed to carry on his own legal practice you must read nani palkiwala at least once in your life his book on principles of income tax is a bible now it is not updated it is wrote back at that particular point of time but if you read nani palkiwala you will come to know about level of understanding that you need for understanding macroeconomic issues and at that point of time he along with the various other persons had started a free forum enterprise and it was a classic movement to bring india to the liberalization or where we are whatever freedom you are having in terms of economic activities not in terms of the uh, freedom from britishers the true credit of this is not to the manmohan singh or pv narasimha rao is to this particular person in india in an era of communalism kind of communalism slash i will not say communalism socialism i will take back my words socialism started by nehru and his great daughter indira gandhi this was a person who could stand apart call the entire crowd at a brebon stadium and used to dissect the finance minister of the country uh, how wrong you are in terms of being just appeasing the public rather than trying to unleash the true potential of our country this nani palki wala who was the extreme extreme opponent of indira gandhi did something which tells you about how you should be strong in your self belief this is the incidents which i want to narrate somewhere uh, 1972 73 elections when indira gandhi had won but the case was filed against her for corruption and allahabad high court had held her guilty for corruption and she had her election to the lok sabha was terminated in case you know the history of india the most popular and the celebrated case in our india's history kesavan and the bharati case law kesavan and the bharati case law was about the freedom of uh, speech or the basic structure of constitution that was upheld by due to nani palki wala and this was indira gandhi's uh, case the second one the two the prominent cases are the ones where nani palki wala is involved so indira gandhi was her election was cancelled on the charges of corruption she used the government uh, resources for the purpose of campaigning when she was a prime minister as a prime minister when you part uh, campaign for a political party you have to use the resources of a political party not of a government and indira gandhi's election was cancelled but mr nani palki wala's firm that this is this kind of a distinction when a person is holding a prime minister's position this distinction between uh, what expenses you are incurring on behalf of party and what expenses you are incurring on behalf of the government is very blur and the judiciary should not interfere into such matters where elected representative that to a person who heads the country who is a head of a country technically uh, even though president is a head of the country in legal terms but the, in india more than the president the prime minister is important and a judiciary enters into the reach of 
your elected parties india has a three pillars judicial legislative and executive so he was on a firm belief that a judiciary must not step into the powers of legislative and legislative should not go into judiciary he was on a firm belief he was a strong opponent of indira gandhi but just to remain firm on that particular belief and to help indira gandhi that this judgment is a flawed one not fraud flawed indira gandhi had lost the case she was to go for appeal he was an opponent of indira gandhi entire policies of indira gandhi were opposed by him but he was firm ki ye jo ho raha hai india ke constitution ke structure ke liye acha nahi ho raha because judiciary is stepping into the shoes of legislative tomorrow if judiciary takes over the uh, thing it will be wrong for our country and this principle may should be set in that belief led him to become a council of indira gandhi so he became a council of indira gandhi and remained firm and he said i can bail you out of this particular case and he got a stay order from allahabad high court and indira gandhi could remain as a prime minister but what indira gandhi did thereafter because appeal was to be heard again and he had got a stay order from the court and indira gandhi thought that she is going to lose a case and something will happen and she announced a emergency if you know a bit of history of india and that day emergency was announced by indira gandhi he remained again firm on his belief ki boss this is again the breach of the constitution by the same lady for whom he was fighting now normally nobody will give up on the as a legal counsel of a prime minister of india that to sitting prime minister not an ex prime minister and that to prime minister of the capability and the power of indira gandhi at that point of time indira gandhi was way more powerful than narendra modi today in case you know a uh, history war had taken place actual war not something like an uh, uh, what happened with the pakistan in the after a pulma uh, pul surgical strike actual war and indira gandhi had won that particular war so indira gandhi had that particular power indira gandhi had that particular charisma and following and he calls up indira gandhi and he said daddy i am not your lawyer that to you say to prime minister because what you have done is wrong to the country and he remained firm on that particular belief so this incident basically his values were firm he remained firm he went on whatever tata he was a main trustee of majority of the charitable trust of the tatas there are majority of hospitals today they are run because of just the nani palkiwala's money majority of i hospitals run on the uh, palkiwala's money or the trusts that were set up at the tata group the charitable part other part chhod do the kind of belief that this person had and the kind of thought clarity of thought he had if you listen to his speeches or there are some articles that will be available you will go back in 1960s and imagine what is happening in 2020 or 2022 kind of liberalization policies that are talked all over the country he was in a position to envisage them at that particular point of time and that that forum for free enterprise or ffe karke naam tha free for, uh, enterprise forum tha ya enterprise for free forum aisa kuch tha naam tha ffe uh you can go let out and tani palkhiwala forced indian government over the years to bring up the changes in the budget and getting more liberalized and this was even when you are opposing the prime minister of a country remaining firm is not so easy for a person until his death what was the name forum of free enterprise forum of free enterprise ke kuch lectures aapko milenge matlab aap kind of oratory that this person had even there are very few uh, clips of him which are available as of now not majority of them but articles are to available and the book if you can get on uh, principles law and principles of income tax if you want to understand the canons of taxation how a tax should be collected now this is with reference to the provisions of income tax law at that particular point of time it took 12 months for him to write a book but that is a bible it's not with reference to current provisions but belief you should carry this particular belief even when you are trying to oppose to a person of the stature of what prime minister or anybody doesn't matter carry that particular belief now whatever course you are doing it could be your day to day life you are doing a course now after initially going through the announcement that i government is going to set up indian institute of accountants and you get i mean sorry kya hai you remain firm on your belief ki boss what course i am doing or what kind of skills i am going to acquire those are going to help me rather than just the degree and that belief you need to carry till the 
very end of your course or till the very end of your life logically speaking you can carry that it will be a great benefit to you thank you other things we discuss on monday attendance